Got a little bit of uh, work slash testing in here at the storage unit shop. <laughs> uh, hooked the sewing machine and the Cricut um, up to the Everstart power supply um, back there. It's 500 watts, uh, 1200 amps. Had it not fully charged, probably 80% charged up so i wanted to see how it would do and i uh cut these designs this is like a marine vinyl or like a faux leather if you will um cut the designs out on the cricket um this is a thin spandex and then i uh i hand cut the bigger parts and then i stitched it on this juki sewing machine um yeah, if you're wondering why there's a bottle of baby oil sitting here, it's so the vinyl will go through the sewing machine better. <laughs> and to put on the needle so it doesn't gum up from the glue that I use. Uh, a little kind of weird just sitting there. Um, Zodi, what's all the baby oil for? I don't know. Uh, and I made a mess. I got to go through and clean. But, yeah, this, uh, I just turned that on. I think you can see it. And I'm still at three bars. Um, it's been at three bars since I started and total time running was probably hour and a half, maybe, maybe two. And it's barely put a dent in it. Um, the sewing machine doesn't use a lot of power. Maybe, I think it said it was like 40 watts, something like that. It's not a lot. And then this says 350 i think if that it might not even be that i might be thinking of something else um but i hooked that up and it ran perfectly fine off of it i actually used a mobile app instead of my laptop because my laptop was acting weird and um i wanted to test out the mobile app because i don't always have wi-fi um, or an internet connection for the software on the laptop because uh, Cricut's design space is kind of cloud-based. You can work offline, but it's not as good. Um, it gets a little funky. Uh, and the mobile app, um, that was using it on the phone. I was able to pull up a design I had saved. I already had this design saved because I've made something for this guy a number of times. Um, it worked a lot better and faster and more efficient through the app than it did the laptop, which my laptop's a little bit older, too, so that might be part of it. Um, I will do there's a big wasp um that's a paper wasp it's all right uh number of those popping out around here i have to get rid of him but um i wanted to test that because i want to use it on the road and maybe take this with me because it doesn't take up a lot of space and i can slide it under the bed and use it and then i have i don't take this sewing machine with me i have this one back here it's uh a little more durable it doesn't get out of balance and stuff uh, as easy as this one does. This one's a little more sensitive and a little bit more expensive. I have a case for it, so if I put it in the case and everything and pack it good, it's all right. But I'd rather not jostle that one around. So I leave this one here, and I take that one on the road with me for repairs and for work like this and stuff, which it does the same job. It works great. That's a FAF, and it's probably 15 years old, um, but it still works awesome. All right, wasp, you gotta get out of here before you start making a nest. You can like violent. Yeah, get out. Get out, asshole. Go, yeah. All right, he left. <laughs> Last thing I want is a wasp nest up in here. Deal with all that. Well, okay, that was the excitement. That was my excitement for the day. Um, but yeah, I made these wrist gauntlets for a guy. Um, they're wrist guards, cuffs, whatever you want to call them three layers got a base layer um, in there then this top decorative layer and then I put a uh, poly cotton material in the back for comfort so they're a little soft and then this little thing here to close up the gap and I gotta get laces for them I don't think I, oh, I think I'm out of laces so he just wanted alternating ones so these came out pretty nice the Cricut cuts this vinyl really clean Especially if you have a new blade, uh, you, I had to play with the settings a little bit, but there's 
two settings where it'll cut this stuff really nice and then i used the um and i just used the regular fine point blade for this i didn't even use a deep cut blade i have a couple thicker ones um like if i want to use and cut this backing material i can use a deep point blade and it'll cut it better but and then i used a rotary blade that's in there to cut this and it did a really good job and then the rest i cut by hand and then stitched it on here like i said that's a knee knee cover for a knee pad this is a for a professional wrestling partner of mine buddy of mine so and the only thing you can hear from this ever start is that little hum from the fan that's the only noise you get from the actual ac power and i don't even notice it um i plugged in i just have the one thing plugged up to it now but i plugged in a um power strip and had both of these plugged in actually a couple times to try that out and it worked fine um, because I'm only running one of them at a time so I would just turn one off and then use the other machine and then vice versa until I had got done what I needed to get done um, it would probably run both of them fine since together they're not even close to 500 watts and they're not going to be in use really at the same time so but that's a good little test for that because now I can take this with me and use my phone or maybe get a tablet I might get a tablet and use the software on there um, I might get an iPad the iPad software for this is actually really good and then take my machine with me so I can work on the road um, I have the minivan it's a Honda the Honda Odyssey which you can see back there it's not huge but the way I have it set up and the way I'm building it out it's got plenty of room um, I'm gonna put an inverter in there eventually a bigger like 1500 watt inverter um, maybe a 2000 watt I don't know it just depends on how much space I want to take up with the battery and everything but then I can put a microwave and some other stuff in there and some other work stuff but this was a good test run for this and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space I have to organize this place is a mess I just threw stuff in here so um, I'll do another video on the cricket and the sewing machine and actually show them kind of in action you can see the sewing machine it's geared up right now and it runs fine um, you can give an example of that because it's still turned on so just pop this up and then this is just scrap material here I just have it on a straight stitch but yeah there's the machine or there's the power supply here's the machine the sewing machine runs like it would if you had it plugged in a wall so no problems there at all nice uh well it's hard to see because it's white thread but good solid stitch so and that's how i did all these and this thing's been on off and on uh but mainly on for a couple hours now and it barely put a dent in the battery this thing was only like a 100 bucks at walmart it's nothing expensive but it serves its purpose and works good for me and when I eventually get a better inverter, um, I'll use this as a backup or use it for like my fans or charging my phone or something like that. Or if I'm stuck, it does have the jump pack to jump start your car and the compressor. And everything works great on it so far. Um, I've had it for three months now, I guess. Four. And it's been good. Um, same thing with the Cricut, though. Like I said, it's worked great on it. So... There's a test project done. I'm going to load this stuff back up in the van. And uh, once I get everything set up in the van to work mobile, I'll do a video on that too. So uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, follow the channel for more. Um, if you have any suggestions or stories, feel free to share in the comment section. And uh, I'll get back with you guys. I like to hear all that stuff. All right. Thanks.